Hello once again my dear friends, welcome to Maradona.tv where I can teach you English language. Friend, if you are an out of school youth, student or an employee, this channel is highly recommended to you. And what about public speaking? Yes, yours truly is an advanced communicator silver, advanced leader bronze in Toastmasters International. So, if you want to become an effective and more competent communicator, this channel is also for you. I am willing to share with you my skills, my knowledge about public speaking. So for this video, let's get started with our new lesson. British and Americans have a very different ways to pronounce certain words. For this video, I list words that British and Americans have dissimilar pronunciations. The first word we're going to look at is the word that in British English, the word would be pronounced address, address. In American English, the word will be pronounced address, address, with stress on the first syllable. In the US, the stress on the word will change depending on whether it's a noun or a verb. If it is a noun, address. If it is a verb, address. However, it is more common that you will hear Americans say address. Number two, let's talk about this word. In British English, this word is pronounced adult. In American English, this word is generally pronounced adult. Number three, let's look at a word that we've taken from French. In British English, the word would be pronounced ballet, ballet, with stress on the first syllable. Americans would pronounce the word ballet, ballet. Number four, now we can look at this word. In British English, the word would be stressed on the first syllable. Debut, debut. In American English, the stress would be on the second syllable. Debut, debut. Number five, in British English, this word would be pronounced brasha, brasha. In American English, the word would be pronounced brochure, brochure. As you can hear once again, the stress is on the second syllable. Number six, in British English, the word would be pronounced buffet, buffet, with stress on the first syllable. In American English, the word would be stressed on the second syllable. Two American pronunciations. The first is buffet. The second is buffet. Number seven. Let's talk about this word that in British English, the word is stressed on the first syllable. Cafe, cafe. In American English, cafe, cafe. Number eight. Let's talk about the word that in British English, the word would be pronounced deco, deco. In American English, the word is pronounced Decor, decor. Number nine. Let's look at the word that in British English they tend to pronounce it detail, detail. In American English we tend to pronounce it detail. Number ten. Let's move on to this word. The British pronounce it cliche, cliche. Americans pronounce it cliche cliche number 11 let's talk about a word 
that I find really confusing with the British English pronunciation. In British English, this word would be pronounced Dubri. Dubri. Once again, the American version is Dubri. Dubri. And finally, number 12. Another common word that we use. The British will stress it on the first syllable. Salam. Salam. With a different vowel sound. The Americans would stress it on the second syllable. Salon. Salon. Nice ko lamang po mag-shout out sa aking mga kaibigan sa abroad. Uh, sila po ang nag-share o nag-share ng aking video every time mag-upload kami ng bagong video. Sila po ay sina Revelyn Asuncion, Gaven, na nasa Israel. Si Maring Gina Palomo, si Mudsna, nakasama niya, mga beautician po na napaalis ko na nasa sa Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Si Lurhati Ibnol, nasa Saudi Arabia din. Ang aking mga kaibigang uh, sina Rafi Ramilo, nasa Qatar. Ang aking inaanak sa Canada, si Marlon Kinay. At kay Nash, na napaalis ko rin patungong Riyadh, pero at present ay nasa Moscow, Russia. Ang aking din po mga kaibigan na Yemeni, Sina Khalil, Aydari, Rada, Alataz, at si Abdul Alim. And lastly, sa iyo po kayo ni belated happy, happy birthday. Maraming salamat sa mga naitulong nyo sa amin, lalong-lalo na nung pagyao ni Ina. Sa inyo pong lahat, bahagi kayo ng success ng Maradona.tv. And that's the completion of our lesson for this video. Ay ginagagalak po namin ipaabot sa inyo na sa June 20 ay one month na ang Maradona.tv at uh, malapit na po natin ma-achieve ang 500 subscribers. Kaya po patuloy lang kayong uh, mag-like, comment, share, subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated with our next video. And again, this is Toastmaster Nestor De Leon Galang saying you, if you study better, you will perform better and you will live better.